Does the Coastal Commission, in its role of reviewing the plan, have the power to be able to say, you know what, we don't like this piece, change it? The, the, the goal of working with them collaboratively, and we meet all the time, is so that won't happen. Uh, we've done a number of briefings with uh, their, their commissioners, and so I think we have a very good understanding of what they want to see from the plan. Uh, the, the bar is to us to show that co together this six and a half billion dollar package leaves the coastal zone better than when we got here. Mm -hmm. And we believe that, that we can do that. And things like the coastal access improvements, uh, improving tidal flushing in the lagoons by lengthening those bridges, in our minds that, that goes a long way to, to making the area better than when than we started. How is the I-5 going to look? I mean, is it going to look like L.A. with walls down both sides? I remember you saying at one point there might even be glass walls so you could see the ocean view. Or, you know, is it going to be L.A. if I San Diego? No. And I think one of the big concerns and the thing that's uh, difficult to communicate sometimes is $6.5 billion investment sounds like a really scary change. And it is a change, uh, but we don't think it's a bad change. Uh, folks are very concerned about blocking coastal views. We're not blocking any coastal views. Uh, retaining walls are in what we call cut sections, but they're not, they're not between the traveling public and, and the ocean. We're building sound walls. Uh, those sound walls may have glass panels so that the, so that the homeowner can still have their view. Um, so w changes could be like in landscape. Uh, right now folks are very used to sort of a green ice plant sort of look. And one of our challenges, that's not very sustainable. And so we're segueing uh, from that ornamental look into more of a California native, non-invasive, so that the plants don't get out into the lagoon. So another example of, yes, there's a change, but we don't believe it's a change well, for the, well, for the well, What do you anticipate with drive times? Is, is this just going to keep us where we are, or is it going to actually improve drive, drive uh, times, do you think? So, the, you know, a couple, couple answers to that. The idea of the express lanes is always to provide people a congestion-free choice. And so if you need to get home, if you're, you know, carpool, you can Except use in L.A. It doesn't help you at all in L.A. on the 405, for example. With four lanes, we believe that we can keep those congested free. Mm -hmm. um, and we price them like we do on I-15 um, to make sure that they are congestion-free. Uh, I think when you first do the construction, you're going to get great benefit on I-5. And as population continues to, to grow over the next 30 or 40 years, okay. some of that performance on the general purpose lanes might drop off. Gotcha. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Kosov. Very, very interesting. Uh, the, uh, that's all the time we have for this evening. We've, got a, uh, uh, we've had a good discussion tonight. We'll have a good, another good, good uh, session next month. Please come back and join us.